Now, the other big story being that despite the government clearing an ordinance for jelly cut or the bull taming sport in Tamil Nadu, it seems villagers in many areas, especially Madurai, remain adamant not to allow jelly cut till a permanent solution is found. This despite multiple attempts by the district administration to convince the people to allow the festival. The chief minister in is uh, going to be in Madurai and is slated to inaugurate the festival at 10 a.m. Preparations have uh, taken a hit with villagers blocking the roads and not allowing any vehicles to enter the court village area. Tamil Nadu government is now staring at a huge embarrassment with people of Alanganallu refusing to allow Jalika to go happen. They continue to demand for a permanent solution. This is the Wadi Vasil, the gateway from where the bulls ideally would be coming out on any given Jalika today. But today, as you can clearly see, all the villagers sitting here saying we will not participate, we will not allow this to happen. The chief minister is slated to come here and start the entire ceremony around 10 o'clock. But then people continue to protest saying they want a permanent solution. Although the state government is saying that they will try and bring in a law on the first day of the session itself. But the people here are not ready to buy that. They are saying we want a solution that will allow us to have Jalika to every year without it being challenged or without any uncertainty. Well, in the meanwhile, there are last-ditch efforts from the administration, district administration, to try and at least have a symbolic ceremonial Jalika too, with a few bulls coming out and a few people participating. They are saying we've made all arrangements, but uh, in terms of logistics, the ambulance, the fire service uh, department and others were not allowed to come in as well. There's a huge blockade and people are saying we will not allow this to happen. One of the villagers he, here saying that uh, it's about sentiments, it's about sports and uh, there can't be a stop gap arrangement. Uh, the government just gave a temporary act, uh, solution. We are looking for a permanent solution. We have to probably do all our tradition all the coming years without any uh, hurdles. That's the solution we are looking for. Uh, we won't happen. Uh, we won't allow to happen delegate today. If something happens, uh, only uh, government official will take participate. None of the uh, players will get participate, and none of our own bulls will uh, participate. There you go. Him saying that. Uh, if, even if the government wants to push ahead, have a ceremonial jalika to a symbolic one, then it's the government official who will have to go and do that. None of the villagers will do, do that because even some of them would ideally want to come and uh, take part in this, especially considering that the chief minister here are skeptical of facing a severe backlash with overriding sentiments here against having the jalika to at this moment with the kind of adjustments and the ordinance that has been brought in. With camera person Kumar, Harish Upadhyay, NDTV, Madanganalur. All right, Uma Sudhir now joins us for the very latest uh, on what the government thinks about all of this from Chennai. Now, Uma, as we've been pointing out, the district administration will hope for a last-minute breakthrough. Uh, but uh, this certainly is an embarrassment for a government that has been pushing hard for the ordinance and then had that ordinance go through. Yes, indeed, Bhairavi, huge embarrassment for Chief Minister Opani Selvam and the AIADMK government that they had in fact asked for uh, the, the uh, 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 ordinance and got it passed also in, I must say, record time. And in fact, the Chief Minister personally assured that this is going to be a permanent solution because when the Assembly meets on the 23rd, uh, he will get the uh, uh, ordinance tabled in uh, the Assembly and it will become law, it will be passed by Assembly at the same time. But uh, the fact that he said that six months of ordinance is valid, which is and, uh, which is a, which is something that everyone knows about. But what people have understood it as is that this law is only perhaps valid for uh, six months, and therefore even at Marina Beach, huge numbers. The tempo has not decreased. The energy levels have not dipped, and all of them are in fact talking about the fact that they do not want to allow uh, the uh, jelly cutter to happen there. Why are you saying jelly cutter should not happen? For the past six days, it is all the ordinary people who are protest protesting over here. It is not any political party or any any fame who are doing it. And we want a Veera Tamilan to open the Wadi Vasal and not a politician. Tamilan and Salada! Tamilan and Salada! Why are, why, see, the Chief Minister himself has said that we'll get this passed in the Assembly. What we are seeing today is a huge deployment of police force. Till yesterday, there was no police on Beach Road. Today, huge deployment. The numbers are not reducing. Isn't it time to kind of diffuse the situation? No, it is not because it is an emotional uh, meeting here. And uh, you are saying still that ordinance has been passed and passed. Okay. 
CM is only for the people, okay? Why don't the CM come over here and tell that this is the ordinance and why, why he is ad not addressing the gathering? That is the main issue here. Where is CM? Where is CM? Everybody is seeing. He is going there and, you know, opening the door. What is the use? People are staying here and protesting here. Why, why, why can't he come here and, you know, addressing the gathering and say that's, that... That's perhaps uh, something that everyone talks about, the fact that they that would like a direct dialogue with exactly. the political leadership. And I must point out, for the authorities' point of view, this is certainly turning into something of a big concern also because Republic Day is coming up and everyone here is also talking about not allowing Republic Day celebrations to happen. In fact, the parade happens right on this road and today, unlike the last six days or five days, we are seeing a huge deployment of police force and therefore there is a build-up of tension in the air even though I must point out everything has remained peaceful so far. Back to you. All right, Uma, those are important points that you're making there. Of course, people unimpressed, uh, they want uh, assurances from nobody else but the Chief Minister himself and his actual presence at Marina Beach uh, for them to move from there. And of course, those Republic Day celebrations are coming up and this will be a concern.